management of Kaspersky is achieved using Security Center 9, where we are at the moment. We have an area called Managed Computers, and within here we have certain different groups if you wish. Within these groups, there's a Computers tab, where the computers reside. Here we can see Computer 1, we can clearly see its status, um, and we can also see that it's got the agent and the antivirus installed to it. The way that these computers are controlled is via tasks and via policies. To focus on a couple of these tasks then for a moment, we have a virus scan task. This can be set up according to your wishes with regards to the schedule of it. And also the objects that we'd like to scan. It's very easy to add in additional objects there as well. There's also an update task by default. Again, we can set the schedule of this. The default option of when new updates are downloaded to the repository means when the security center downloads the updates from the web, this task is instigated to push those updates out to the client machines. Again, by default, we have two modes, a local mode and a mobile mode. Looking at the local mode, we can see the default source is the Kaspersky Security Center for the updates. However, in a mobile mode, the default source is the Kaspersky Lab update servers. Meaning that if you do have machines, that are laptops or roaming machines, they're still going to update in accordance to your wishes, however, just a different update source. We also have policies. Policies enable us to control the settings of the endpoint security software. We can create policies for our Macintosh or our Linux products. Today we will look at the Windows software. Within here, you can configure and enable and disable all of the different features. Such as blocking USB sticks, or setting up web control rules. If there's any component that you don't wish to run with, it's very easy to disable them. Here within the policy we can also configure the interface as to what's displayed to the end user and of course to enable password protection. Whatever changes you make to the policy, once you click on the OK button, the policy will be pushed down and enforced to the endpoint machines. You can see this clearly by clicking on the details tab. see that the enforcement is currently running on computer 1 pending on computer 2. Clicking back in we can see computer 1 has now got this policy set to it. So this gives us a, a high visibility as to how and where the policies are applying. One thing to note, policies and tasks do inherit down throughout the hierarchy here on the left hand side meaning that you can keep administration as simple as you wish, or indeed, you could copy a policy, go into a lower level, paste it at a lower level here, and go in and then amend that, particularly for this group. That's really how the control elements work from the security center controlling the endpoints. If we have a look at the endpoint GUI itself, we can see that it says that I'm working under a policy. As we're the end user, we're unable to access these settings, but they do reference what we have set up in the policy. For instance, a block to remove all drives in the device control. There are many different ways to manage the security of the estate. Here within the reports dashboard, we can see there's a machine that's critical. I can click on this, view it very easily, find out why it is being classed as critical. I can right click on the machine, all tasks and run a task. In this instance it will be a full scan task. I can apply that to the machine, once that scan is finished its status will then turn to green. 
That's a very brief overview of the management of Kaspersky using Security Center. Thank you.